Hi, my name is Harry Merritt and I have currently just finished my final year of university studying design at Goldsmiths. I would like to take this time to speak to you about what I have accomplished the past year for my final project. I have been looking into the rapid increase in hostile architecture that has seemingly taken over our urban environments. I have researched things from philosophy of urbanism to how we construct our communities. From all my research, I have found that our environments are only becoming increasingly hostile and I wanted to find the way that would begin the healing process. I decided that the best way to stop our environments becoming more hostile is to try and find a way I can make them more friendly. Through this development in my project, I created my own practice which I called friendly architecture that is defined as the complex and or careful design structure of something which fulfills the needs of a community and attempts to promote inclusion of all people rather than the exclusion of said people. This practice continued to develop through further understanding of our urban environments and the communities that we have built. This then led me to create three separate outcomes that all showed the needs, importance and positive impact of friendly architecture could bring to our community. The designs that I have made all work towards the same definition of friendly architecture that I have created. They try to include and focus on community issues, but instead of trying to move the problem, they try to help. I have created a total of three outcomes that work together, but can be analysed and discussed separately. The first being a catalogue of friendly architecture discussing the positive impacts friendly architecture as a practice can generate in our urban environments. This also considers 15 designs and that tackle different issues that we are currently faced with in our communities. The second outcome is a collection of animations that have been created from these 15 ideas of friendly architecture to present how they could work within an urban environment to display their benefits to their community. And the final outcome being a 3D blueprint of the first piece of friendly architecture that I designed. These outcomes aren't designed for one specific user, but rather anyone who wants to help or create a community that aims to include people. All outcomes work separately to convey the same message, all in different ways and on different platforms, 3D, digital, and as a book. But once placed into a situation together, they create an installation, performance, or site for conversation and growth that puts forward ideas of friendly architecture, community and inclusion amongst our urban environments. Hostile architecture, as much as it uses aggressive methods of design, it tries to stop antisocial behaviour to create a better environment. However, the current understanding of antisocial behaviour is wrong. For example, how is skating, rough sleepers, and gatherings counted as antisocial behaviour? As much as I think changing what is seen as antisocial behaviour could change the effectiveness of hostile architecture, I still think this is a poor use of design. I believe that designers have an obligation to make sure that our designs are put in place to help and include rather than harm and exclude. We are designing for the people, not against. This is where my practice comes in. I believe if I am able to create these conversations with people about friendly architecture, 
it will start to have a chain reaction. The more people who speak about it and know about it, the higher the likelihood it is to reach someone who can use it within their practice too. Then maybe people will start to criticize hostile architecture more. And then maybe architects and town planners will start to use this practice in their work instead. My outcome for this project all started with three ideas from development and as I continued they transformed into their own outcomes which all express the same ideas of friendly architecture and promote conversation in the hopes to create its own community of friendly architects. But as much as all these are all separate outcomes, you can also bring them together to create a unique installation space. The bench in its hostile form allows it to be used as a lens to view the animations that will all be projected onto the hostel bench. And finally, as people enter the installation, they will be handed the Friendly Architecture catalogue and be invited to discuss Friendly Architecture within the exhibit. The full installation considers each outcome and instead of defining them separately, allows them to naturally form into one individual outcome. This creates a whole space for these conversations to develop and with this we'll hopefully start to create a community of friendly architects entering the world.